So Matt, we just had some uh, great training on alfalfa and forages down here at Johnston. And, you know, we talked about uh, Harvextra alfalfa, and uh, could you uh, talk talk to folks here about uh, the benefits uh, that, that we learned? Sure can, Mike. I think we've got uh, several benefits with that. And of course, obviously, the first number one is forage quality. We're going to see a bump in forage quality of harvesting a premium alfalfa there with the reduced lignin that's in the alfalfa. So we're going to see it whether we want to look at NDFE, NDFD digestibilities, or we're looking at our lignin contents. All those are going to be improved versus a non sure. uh Harv extra alfalfa. I think the other one that we need to discuss a little more is the delayed harvest too, especially uh, you know how the weather patterns are in Minnesota and Wisconsin. We sometimes get those rains. So we can either delay one cutting completely or take it out of the system and go to like a three cut system if we're normally at a four or a four cut system if we're at a five. So I have one fewer cutting per season. Um, or if we get into a situation too where let's say the rain moves in and delays us two, three days, it's not going to hurt us as bad because the forage quality is still going to be there. So that helps a lot too. And then that gets into the flexibility too with the harvest share. Yeah. So I kind of look at this as maybe you want to declare like a, like an insurance policy policy to help us out with the uh, harvesting of the alfalfa to keep our quality there, but give us some flexibility as Mother Nature deals us those wild cards. And of course, the ending all of this is Roundup Ready, so we do get some weed resistant options, right. or weed control options, I guess you could sure. say, to help with keeping our cleaner fields and helping out with the alfalfa quality from that standpoint also. Well, absolutely. That those all sound like great benefits. And so as I look at the total value proposition of of Harv Extra alfalfa. You know, it makes me kind of wonder, why wouldn't I, as a grower, why wouldn't I plant this? Now, maybe there's some reasons, but but why wouldn't I plant my entire farm to all Harv Extra? I mean, I, I just, I don't see why a guy would decide not to use it on all his acres. Can you explain th that that theory? Is that, that, am I on track? You're on track, Mike. I think it's a great thing. I mean, as we look as going forward in the dairy industry, trying to build this quality piece for all our cows, we've got BMR corn silage now, and now we kind of got like our low lignin Harv Extra alfalfa, which is like the BMR of alfalfa, maybe we should be calling it. Um, so there's great options there. And when we get into weather situations where something may happen to reduce the quality of our harvest time, and we're not hurt as bad with these things here. So it ends up being this great policy for it. And I think, too, as we look at the whole picture of the whole thing, if you look at better quality, if you can add 10 RFQ points to your hay, all of a sudden you're looking at about a $10 per ton advantage to your hay there. Sure. And you start penciling this all out, you know, you get three acres per bag of your alfalfa, you're looking at an advantage of $240 a bag. I think that's yep. huge. I mean, it's things that we need to be discussing. And then for the guys that want to take the one last cutting, so we start looking at what does that save them. You know, even at fifty dollars an acre for harvest cost, which is probably on the low side of things, there that's one hundred and fifty dollars a bag, assuming that three acres per bag again too. So to me, yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't be planting this. I think it's a great opportunity. It's another one of our tools in our tool chest. So let's take advantage of sure. it. Sure. So we've got two great alfalfa varieties to offer growers today, and uh, the way I see it, with the benefits to the grower, um, man, they should really be looking hard at planting this on on all their alfalfa acres that they're going to be seeding in the next year. I, I think the the benefits outweigh the costs in, in the end. But as I look at this from an agronomic standpoint and look at that value creation, you know, uh, one less cutting. I always look at an alfalfa plant like a, a, a like a gas tank on a car as we go into these tough winters that we have here up here in the upper Midwest. If I can if I can take uh, the same yield or higher in three cuts versus taking a fourth or a fifth, uh, I've got time to put the uh, carbohydrates back in the, in the root reserves to increase my long, longevity of that stand. That's that's got huge benefit. To, to a grower when, when I look at that entire value. Plus even things like wheel traffic and, and just all the injury that, that occurs every time we travel across that. I mean, those are things that I don't, I'm not sure we've got totally a number figured in some of these, these uh, value patients we've got here. So what, what are your thoughts on that? I agree with you totally there, Mike. I think it's something that we need to look harder at. We're just not putting a pencil to those things. Like you said, we don't have the exact numbers out there, but if you take out that cutting, all of a sudden it's like Harv Extra becomes free to use. Right. So, I mean, I, I don't know why you wouldn't just go ahead and try it. So I can get higher yield, and same quality and longer stand life. Longevity it sounds like a, a very good value proposition for a grower.